Hey everyone, Charlie here, and welcome to a Learn to Play Piano of Charlie. Today's question is uh, from Jay Head, and he asked uh, in a comment about how to play in a fluid, relaxed, uh, fast technique. So we're going to talk a few about a few. We're going to talk about, excuse me, a few tips and tricks of how to how to stay relaxed, how to stay fluid, um, and ideally how you can get fast. Um, but before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on YouTube. And if you're not on YouTube, head over there and do that. Um, also, uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. How can you play in a in a, a, a relaxed way. Being relaxed is extremely, extremely important when it comes to playing the piano or pretty much any instrument because if you don't stay relaxed, um, it can lead to problems um, and the problems can be permanent and you wanna avoid those kinds of things. So what I mean by relaxed is I mean you have to keep everything relaxed. If you're like tensed up and tightened up, that can lead to a lot of problems. It could lead to things like carpal tunnel, it could lead to things like bad things. Um, so what I mean by relaxed is pretty much everything. You want your fingers to be relaxed. You want your wrists to be relaxed. You want your arm to be relaxed. You want your shoulders to be relaxed. You just want your whole body to be relaxed. Now, it's true that sometimes you're going to have to uh, uh, tighten up just a hair, but anytime you want to do that, or anytime you need to do that, that is, um, you want to do it. You want to do it as short as possible and as little as possible, and with as little tension as possible. Uh, one way to do things is, um, you know, I, I notice sometimes when I'm teaching, students will be will be, you know, kind of uh, 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 they'll be very tense. They might play like fantasy impromptu. They might be, you know, and every single note is like intense, um, and doing that does a couple of things. One, it's bad for you physically, but number two, it also affects the musicality of the piece. So finding micro moments, um, the more the better and the longer the better, where you can relax is very important. So moments can be as, as long as, you know, maybe your hand stops playing completely. If you're playing a piece and it's playing, and there's a section where your right hand maybe stops and your left hand's playing, that's a great spot for you to do as much as you can to relax. I'm not saying you have to like physically go like this. Though actually, on a side note, one way to kind of help you get relaxed, like if you're feeling just a little tense, is to, to do this. Just kind of, you know, uh, shake it out, shake it out. You know, just kind of loosey-goosey all over the place. But I mean, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna do this in the middle of the piece, right? So if, you're, if your pan is not doing anything, um, try to relax as much as possible. Try to release as much tension as possible. Now, sometimes you don't have that long. Maybe you just have an end of a phrase. So maybe you're playing. In between um, those two phrases, you can relax. So as you, as you saw what I did there, relax. Now sometimes you don't even have that long. Sometimes it's just a slight pause. On all those long notes, here, 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 you could relax. Or maybe you can find even more spots in between those and slightly faster notes or something maybe that you can relax. But t finding micro moments where you can just relax is important. And keeping, and always keeping in mind that everything should be relaxed is also important. So e sometimes the relaxation is like a microsecond, like just a split second, but that can make a huge difference. And doing that thousands of times in a piece um, can make a big difference um, between playing relaxed and playing tense. Now sometimes, yeah, I'm not saying everything needs to be so like relaxed that everything's mushy and stuff. No, you know, sometimes um, I've described to students in the past, sometimes you might imagine that the very tips of your fingers are um, in an articulated part, for example, if you want something to be very clear, right? Um, maybe imagine the very tips of your fingers are tipped in like metal, like, you know, those little thimbles or something people use when they're like knitting or sewing or whatever. You can imagine the tips of your fingers are, are, are like metal. But the rest of your hand and wrist and all that stuff should be relaxed for the most part. Now again, there are times where you may need to be a little bit tense, but you want to avoid those as much as those times as much as possible. And if you need to do them, keep them as short as possible and keep them as non-tense as possible. And I, I sound like a broken record, but it's really, really important to stay loosey-goosey as much as you can. All right. Now, when you are um, uh, once you're relaxed, that can help you play faster, I think, because if you're tense, it almost slows you down. It's like when you have a, um, you know, when you, you know, when you're playing the piano and you're just like, you just, let's say you're you're really cold and your fingers are frozen, you can barely move them and stuff. No matter how fast you go, you, you know, it might be pretty slow versus, you know, something like that. Um, 
So it, likewise, when you're tense, it kind of slows you down and it causes pain and can cause you know, serious problems too. So staying loose can help you, can help you speed up. So one way to practice might be to uh, take a you know, slow practice. I go on and on about that. And what does slow practice mean? It means physically playing slow. And it also means um, you might just play it slow, play a piece slow, play a section slow. But slow practice in general just means um, focus on a little section and not just play it through. So you might physically play it slow and or you might do like odd rhythms like long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, or short, long, short, long, or, or staccato, or pushing everything down hard, or a combination of stuff. Basically getting your mind to think it through differently and things like that is a part of it. Now, you can slow practice it. Like say I'm playing for Elise. You can slow practice it. Being very mindful of where you're relaxing. And then speed it up slowly. Uh, maybe the fantasy impromptu might be a better example. You can go. Being very mindful of relaxing whenever you can. And slowly speeding it up, staying relaxed. And when you notice yourself, and if you notice yourself, that is, getting more tight, then take it back a notch maybe. Focus on keeping that relaxed state. Until you can work it up to a speed where it's fluid, relaxed, and fast. Something like that. So anyway, I hope these are some ideas that you can kind of play with uh, uh, when you're practicing uh, to stay relaxed and to hopefully get up to a, a faster, more fluid uh, speed. So hope this was helpful. Uh, you stay safe and healthy and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.